Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the PS4 VR processing unit. Now this is that strange black box that came in with your PS4 headset bundle, VR headset bundle. And the purpose of this box is, well, there's several purposes. One of the main purposes is to provide 3D sound. So when you've got the headset on, you can hear different things depending on where you're looking and you can hear where the sound is coming from. So that's one of the primary purposes. Another of the primary purposes is just to duplicate the signal, the HDMI signal, so you can see it on a secondary TV while you're playing the PS4 VR games. So that's the purpose of this unit. So let's tear it down and take a look at the inside. So for the PS4 processor unit, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove this screw and this screw. I'm gonna be using a Phillips double zero for these two screws. Technically it may need the JII the JIS um, bits for these, but that's working just fine. So next what we're gonna do is pull this back in that position and take this screw out. There's one kind of hidden in there. And then what we're gonna wanna do is use a plastic pry tool, opening tool, and we're gonna want to pull this off And there we have it. So that part is now off of that track. And now there's two more screws, one right here and one right here. So we'll pull those screws off next. And there we go. So now this box is pretty much ready to come apart. Just going carefully to make sure and disengage all of the plastic clips. And there we have it. So there is the PS4 VR processor unit. So what we'll do next is just remove all the screws holding this metal plate on. And now we need to remove this plastic connector for the fan. So we'll grab very carefully with our needle nose pliers Rock it back and forth as we pull up gently. There we go. Now the metal plate will come off. And I do have that one last screw in there. So there's the metal plate. And here we have the inside so far. So let's pull it up and remove this motherboard. Okay, and here we have the back side of the motherboard. And then the front side, we have a large heat sink. Actually, fairly surprised that there's a large heat sink in here. So here we have, we gotta make sure that we keep uh, the, this material here so it will do its job properly to transfer the heat from the main chip. And we do have uh, quite a large chip on the board. Looks like um, this is the Marvel 4K chip and this chip is actually going to being used in a lot of smart TVs and a lot of set-top boxes to process the 4K For all the new 4K TVs and that sort of thing This is the chip that a lot of manufacturers are using it also has uh, looks like four RAM chips there And then we've also got two other chips. I don't know right offhand what these chips are for and then we also have of course, the two HDMI ports here, and the two HDMI ports here, and then the micro USB port, and then we also have the AC connector port. So the main thing that kind of worries me with these is, number one, it's kind of a new piece of hardware that has another chip on it, and we never know about the solder joints under these, given Sony's recent problems with the PS4 solder joints and of course Xbox 360's problems. So we never know when there, it comes to a new chip whether that's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing, hopefully a good thing. The other thing that obviously kind of worries me is these HDMI ports. There's a lot of HDMI ports on this. There's four of them total. And you know, people with HDMI ports, they're plugging them in and unplugging them. A lot and so you know that's just one thing that uh, could go bad another thing that really actually worries me quite a bit with these is the fact that on the back of the HDMI ports I'm gonna try and give you a good view of it on the back of these ports right here there's no solid back 
and then also in the front, right in the HDMI port, the pins are integrated down into the plastic. Now, any of you that have seen my video about PS4 HDMI ports know that HDMI ports, the original HDMI ports that PS4 put, that Sony put in their PS4s were similar to this, and they were really bad. There was, we've replaced tons of them. I mean, we're talking thousands of them. And so this is what worries me about these. I think this, Processing unit box may be um, the weakest link in the PS4 VR system just by looking at it. Obviously, there's no way to know right now. It's a little bit too soon to tell, but that does worry me seeing that sort of HDMI port in here. So there you have the motherboard look, and now let's go ahead and just get it put back together. So we're just going to leave it as is. Make sure that gets on here all the way. And then we need to lower this down back into the casing. Make sure all those ports are lined up correctly. It's slowly getting there. Okay, now we have it in here correctly. Now the motherboard is fully installed into the box. We need to put this top plate on and then we can plug in the fan. There we go. There are some locating pins. There's a locating pin here and actually that looks like the only locating pin, but there is one locating pin, so that part does need to be on there correctly. Now I'll install all the screws around the edge. All right, and these screws won't go in yet. They'll go in after we get the whole unit um, together. So now let's put the top plastic piece back on. And then it just slides back on here. As you can see, it just kind of snaps in place. Now these two screws. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put the black screws all in here. So that part will be done. And then we need to install this plastic sliding unit. Make sure the front is towards the front. The front will have the, uh, the square, X, O, and triangle. And then we just need to slide it back onto the track. And there we have it. It is now completely assembled, and that's how you disassemble and assemble the PS4 VR processing unit. Thanks for watching our teardown of the processing unit. And keep in mind, when if you wanna keep these HDMI ports doing well, and making sure they don't get broken. Just make sure when you're plugging a cable in, just plug it in carefully, kind of wiggle it a little bit when you're plugging it in, and that will ensure that it will last as long as possible. Now, if anything does get broken, obviously keep in mind, we're always here to help you out. If you guys ever need these ports replaced or anything on any PS4 or Xbox, just look us up online, tronixfix.com, and we can help you out. Thanks again for watching.